Gee, look at the time. I know, I know, I'm late. Thank you. That's okay. It must be hard getting all seven dwarves off to work every day. <laughs> <laughs> For your information, I'm late because my alarm clock didn't go off. And the reason my alarm clock didn't go off is because I have no electricity. I also have no water, no phone, and no cable. My charming ex-fiance had them all turned off. You mean just because you left the guy at the altar? He refuses to pay your utility bills? <laughs> what a cat! <laughs> Vicky, I had to take a sponge bath with water from the reserve tank in my toilet. Don't start with me. Why do you always give me such a hard time anyway? I don't know. Maybe it's because you're six feet tall, gorgeous, and always seem to have everything handed to you on a silver platter. That is so ridiculous. Hey, Suze, they wouldn't take back your wedding gift because I had it engraved. Okay, but you'll notice that there's nothing actually on the platter. <laughs> meeting in five minutes. Hey, you. What's your name? Pete. Pete, you're fired. <laughs> oh, my God. Three, two, one. Uh, Pete, forget what I said, and here's 20 bucks. <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> this is not uncommon on days she and his wife have couples therapy. <laughs> See, you'll get used to it, and there is a bright side. I myself have made over 350 bucks. All right, this is perfect. I've got 10 minutes. I can get it all taken care of. First, electricity. Uh, let me get this straight. You have no utilities whatsoever, and you're under the impression you can just get them all turned back on in 10 minutes? Yeah, why? Is it sunny all the time, the world where you live? <laughs> yes, it is. And unlike some people, I don't freckle. Susan. <laughs> Have you never had to deal with a utility company before? Well, not really. I mean, Kip usually took care of it. But how hard can it be, right? All they have to do is flick a switch. Oh, yeah, right. Right, right. Flick switch. The poor sweet child. <laughs> all right, just because all of you seem to have had problems doesn't mean that I will. It's all how you talk to people. I will demonstrate. Thank you for calling San Francisco Gas and Electric. Para continuar en español, apriete número dos. That's thoughtful. <laughs> if you have a problem with your service, press one now. One. Please stay on the line and an operator will be with you shortly. See, an operator will be with me shortly. <laughs> It's actually Tijuana Taxi, though in Tijuana, I believe, it's just called Taxi. You know, while I'm on hold, I'll kill two birds with one stone. Okay, Mr. Phone Company, I'm going to reach out and touch you. Thank you for calling the phone company. Para continuar en español, apriete número dos. I just love that. If you'd like to speak to a customer service representative, press one now. One. Please stay on the line, and an operator will be with you shortly. And I got the same music! <laughs> so, how many is she up to now? Four. Kind of sad to see the loss of innocence, isn't it? <laughs> you know, it really is a catchy tune. Huh? Welcome to Golden Gate Cable. Para continuar en español, yada, 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 one. If you'd like to have your service, one. If you'd like to talk to a service one. representative. All right, people, let's get started. What is that music? Tijuana Taxi. I know what it's called. Why in God's name am I listening to it? Well, I'm on hold with the utility company's jacket. It won't be much longer. Oh, really? Oh, Susan, look, I've got your nose. <laughs> Okay, if we're done playing make-believe, we have a magazine to get out. Now, how are we going to do that this week? Dazzle me, Vicky. Ten most pierceable body parts. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Luis, what do you have for me? Uh, yes, uh, I would like to do a photographic essay on the fog. 
Oh, Luis, San Francisco and the fog's been done to death. Who said anything about San Francisco? I just want the fog. No buildings, no bridges? No, well, just the fog. I want to make people feel it, breathe it, taste it. Well, what if that doesn't work? It will, it will. And if not, I still have those nude photos of Demi Moore. No. Well, 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 talk about done to death. Go with the fog. Todd. Okay. Friday, I'm reviewing Melissa Etheridge. Saturday, Smashing Pumpkins. Sunday, Jerry Garcia. Todd. Jerry Garcia's dead. I know that. There's a dental hygienist from Berkeley who claims that she's been channeling him for the last two months. She's playing at Golden Gate Park this weekend. So you're actually reviewing a dental hygienist? Well, I won't know that till I get there, will I? San Francisco Gas and Electric, may I help you? Hello? Excuse me, is this window six? Yes, it is. Uh, well, I'm on my lunch hour. How fast is the line moving? Let me put it this way. I was clean shaven when I got here. Oh boy. Uh, well, um, I'm in a real hurry. You don't when I got just... here, I was still pregnant. Get to the back of the line. It's just asking. Next. I can't believe I finally made it. Hi. Um, I have to get my electricity turned back on, please. And I'm in a real hurry, so can... This is the line for late payments. You need window two. <laughs> but the, uh, the woman at the information counter said window six. Looks like she made a little boo-boo, doesn't it? A little boo-boo? I've been in line over two hours. A big boo-boo there. <laughs> can I at least go to the front of that other line? <laughs> That's a good one. I'll have to remember it at the water cooler. Window two. No, you're not listening. He doesn't actually live there anymore. It's being transferred into my name. Accounts transferable, window four. All right, look. <clears throat> I didn't want to have to do this, but um, I write a weekly column for The Gate. Perhaps you've heard of it, Suddenly Susan? That's you? Yeah. You're Suddenly Susan? <laughs> yes, me. <laughs> wow. Pleased to meet you. I'm I don't give a rat's ass, Rachel. <laughs> Has anyone ever told you that you're one good-looking man? Yes, my husband of many years. Oh, five o'clock. Time to go home. No, no, you can't close, no. You are my last hope. I have been in line so long, my bladder is the size of the Goodyear blimp. Please, if you've got one ounce of compassion in you, you'll help me, I beg of you. Oh, you poor woman. I feel terrible that you have had to suffer like this. Huh. And so, despite the great personal inconvenience to me, it is 502. <laughs> I will process your request immediately. Oh, thank you, thank you so much. No problem. Your power will be restored in three to five working days. I'll kill you. As these power-crazed little Napoleons strut around their cubicle-sized empires, wreaking havoc on the world one innocent victim at a time. Little Napoleons. Hot stuff, huh? Burning my fingers. <laughs> Somebody had to stand up to those bullies. I mean, what you've got to do to get your lights turned on in this city? And I bet I'm not the only one who is tired of being treated badly, tired of feeling like nobody cares, you know? Nana, hey, are you listening to me? <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry, honey, but these pictures of fog are just mesmerizing. <laughs> anyway, it's a wonderful article. I'm proud of you. Oh, thank you. You don't think I went too far? You can't go too far when you're fighting injustice. You know, it takes me back to 51, when a group of us protested the bomb and the government labeled us as communists. That's terrible. How could they do that? Well, actually, we were communists. <laughs> Oh, back then, honey, everybody was. They were the only people who knew how to throw a good cocktail party. <laughs> oh, what in the hell is that? I don't know. The pressure's usually pretty good. Oh, oh, yeah, oh. that's very good. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Either the lights are flickering or I'm having a stroke. <laughs> Maybe it's just a power surge.
Hello? Hello? <laughs> oh my God, it's the hold music. Susan, I want you to listen to me very carefully. Hang up that phone right now. <sighs> Why, what'd you think was gonna happen? Nothing. I just hate that song. <laughs> And you're saying that because of this article you wrote, some person or persons is turning off your water and your lights and your phones in retaliation? Yeah, yes. And you believe this because? <laughs> because of the threatening phone calls? Ah, those would be the phone calls where they keep playing... Uh, Tijuana you know. Taxi, yeah. Okay, why aren't you writing any of this stuff? <laughs> Lady, I, I, I gotta tell you. The Kennedy conspiracy I can buy. <laughs> Marissa Tomei winning the Oscar? Maybe. But the power company turning your lights on and off? <laughs> Come on. But I'm telling you the truth. You know, you, you seem like a very nice young woman. Get some help. Get some help, get some help. That's why I called you get some help. Wait! Yes, ma'am. You're doing a fine job, Officer. Right. <laughs> this is great. Have you read this article on the utility companies? Outstanding. Well, uh, thank you. I wrote it. You're suddenly Susan? Uh-huh. <laughs> wow! Well, you really socked it to him, didn't you? Pow! <laughs> but let me ask you something. Weren't you just a little nervous taking on those big conglomerates? Well, you know, actually, at the time, all I did you was You have set out such to... beautiful hair. <laughs> Excuse me? Your hair. It'd be a real shame if it got all oily just because you were not able to shampoo. Oh, yes. That would be a real shame. You have a nice day now. You know, in case your water suddenly stopped working, like your lights did last night. How did you know about that? Do you work for the power company? Well, I guess I could say we all do, don't we, Susan? <laughs> what do you want from me? Oh, it's not just me. There are others. <laughs> oh, you may not know us, but every time you flip on a light switch or turn on a faucet, we're there. And right now, we are just a little hurt. <laughs> of course, that's nothing that a heartfelt, prominently displayed retraction wouldn't mend. Look, I don't know who you are, but I'm suddenly Susan. And suddenly Susan doesn't retract. So you just back off, Buster. Suit yourself. But sporadic or infrequent cleansing could take a real toll on that lovely combination skin of yours. <laughs> What it means is that if I don't write a retraction, my life is going to be a living hell. Things like this can't really happen, can they? Suze, so you nuts? This is the power company you're dealing with. They have, they have numbers. They have meters. I've heard stories where they come in the middle of the night, tie you down, and take samples from your ovaries. <laughs> no, 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 wait. That's the aliens. <laughs> Still, Suze, these are not people that you want to mess with. Look, don't listen to him, okay? I think what you did is terrific, and I would not stop there. Oh, no. Next, why don't you take on the IRS, and then maybe the mafia. And then, after you disappear, suddenly Susan will become very Vicky. <laughs> well, thank you, Pippi. You know, where I come from, half the people don't have water or power. And if you complain about it publicly, they shoot you dead in the street. <laughs> on the other hand, bananas cost nothing, so it's a trade-off. <laughs> Anybody here, oh, I don't know, work? Jack, I know you're gonna think this sounds completely crazy, but there was some guy from the power company who's trying to coerce me into writing a retraction. What do you mean, coerce? Is he harassing you? Yeah. Is he threatening you? Yeah. Oh my God, that's great. It is? Yes, here's the plan. A major expose. We hit him hard, right where they live. We name names, we blow the lid right off this thing. Well, great, Chief. I'll call Clark and Jimmy, and we'll get right on it. Are you mocking me? Uh, yeah, I think just a little, Jack. Come on, I'm trying to get out of printing a retraction. I don't want to start a war. But it is a war. 
Don't you see? This could be your first cover story. Susan against Goliath. The magazine is your slingshot. Your column is the rock. We are the Israelites. They are the Philistines. Somebody stop me. Stop. Thank you. <laughs> Susan, the point is, this is your chance to make a difference. Tell the people what you're going through. Document your struggles. You'll have all of San Francisco behind you. But I don't have any lights or water. I can't even take a shower. I know. Trust me on this, Susan. I smell a Pulitzer. <laughs> What are you doing? I've noticed we're attracting some flies. Come on, I'm not that bad. Stop it. <laughs> Susan, I, I spent a week on tour with Meatloaf, driving across the desert in a Volkswagen van in which the windows didn't roll down. I'd pay $1,000 to be there right now. <laughs> Susan. Jack, Jack, listen, I love this expose thing. I really do, but I've been doing some thinking. How about I blow the lid off the uh, Golden Door Spa? Um, I hear that their hot springs aren't completely natural, and boy, Jack, that's just not right. Oh, come on, Susan. You've lasted five days. Uh, Don't cave in now. Just hang on till we get this issue out, then, believe me, we'll get you a bath. In the meantime, I bought you a little necklace. Close your eyes. Jack, you didn't have to do that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Luis, have you taken any pictures of Susan today? Oh, no, not yet. No. Well, take some and mess her hair up a little more. Must I touch it? <laughs> no, I'll do it myself. Oh, no. Uh, Shusha, no, to see her like this, she breaks my heart. Could you lower your head a little? The oil on your forehead is creating a flare in my lens. <laughs> Computer just went down. Uh, mine too. Oh my God, it's happening here. It's all right, people. Don't panic. It's probably just a brownout. Uh, Mr. Richmond, uh, this fax came in just before the power went out. Thanks, Pete. Good work. <laughs> I know all your names. Uh -huh. I know where you live. Wow, he's got everything. Our addresses, our phone numbers. Todd, what's one, two, three, four, five? Oh dear God, he's got my PIN number. <laughs> It was just her, but now all of San Francisco has to know my middle name. Oh, your secret's safe with me, Seidel. <laughs> I'm on the love fiddler on the roof. Leave me alone. Seidel's right. We gotta stop. We can't fight this guy. He is too powerful. Jack, I'm writing that retraction. But Susan. Jack, we don't have air conditioning in here. We've got a southern exposure. In about an hour, I'm gonna become a human no pest strip. Oh, like oh, fine, fine. If that's how you all feel. We'll print a retraction. Susan, you go ahead and write it, and the rest of you might as well go home without power. We're not gonna get anything else done today. Hey, Jack, I'm, uh, I'm sorry. I knew this uh, meant a lot to you. I hope you're not disappointed in me. I'm not disappointed. What you did took guts. You put yourself out there, and that's not easy. And if you don't wanna go out there anymore, that's okay. I understand. Thanks, Jack. You're welcome. Good night, Stinky. <laughs> so, is that my retraction? Yes, it is. You win. Are you happy? <laughs> I knew you'd cave. You're all alike, you kilowatt-happy civilians. You sit in your comfy homes and you complain, but when it comes down to it, you can't take the heat. At least not without air conditioning. <laughs> you know, gloating is very unbecoming. You're the last one who should talk about what's unbecoming. <laughs> Hold on a second. All I started out to do was to get my electricity turned back on, and I was treated like an animal. Well, I'm not an animal. I'm a human being with a piney fresh scent. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, your phone's back on. Call someone who cares. <laughs> okay, that's it. I am not printing that retraction. I don't need your power. If you turn off my lights, I'll use candles. You shut off my water, I'll use bottled. I'm gonna take a stand for everybody in this world who demands to be treated as an individual. You can't beat me. I'm the power company. I've got the power. Not anymore, you don't. Wait. Wait a minute, you can't do that. I just did. I don't believe this. 
It's not supposed to happen this way. You're supposed to be standing there cringing in fear, like this. <laughs> Saying things like, how did you do all that neat stuff? <laughs> Boy, you're not so tough after all, are you? I never said I was tough. I said I was powerful. There's a difference. <laughs> all right, all right. Take it easy. Take it easy? What am I supposed to do now? What am I supposed to say to the other guys? <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm not printing that retraction. So I don't get anything? Well, all right. <laughs> <laughs> No, 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 you don't really mean it. Well, what else do you want me to do? Would you consider using a low-flow shower restrictor? <laughs> a what? A low-flow shower restrictor. Not only does it conserve water, but it cuts your bills by a third. Well, I guess I can do that. <laughs> yes! <laughs> so we're okay? Yes, we're okay. You see how much nicer life is when you treat people with a little respect, huh? Yeah, huh? I suppose. <laughs> hey, I thought we had a deal. That wasn't me. Then it's a real power outage? Oh, man, you leave your desk for five minutes, morons! <laughs> As traffic really backed up, so you'd better leave for work early today. Now let's dust off a record from the top shelf. Where were you when you first heard this?